All right, here we are back again for another practice test review series. This time we're taking a look at college algebra practice test number two. This is Joe Brownlee with Palm Beach State College. And in this series, we're going to be taking a look at graphing techniques, function operations and composition, systems of linear equations, word problems, systems of linear inequalities, and so much more. As I was getting ready to film these videos, I was thinking to myself, that this might be my favorite chapter in all of college algebra. I really like college algebra. It's one of my favorite uh, courses at the college, but this chapter in particular is a lot of fun. There's a lot of good stuff uh, that we're gonna be exploring. And I hope you're ready and excited to review these uh, questions with me. I'm excited to review them with you. But before we get started, as always, we've gotta talk a little shop. And uh, I want to mention here at the beginning that as always, these practice uh, videos do not in any way, shape, or form take the place of attending your lectures, taking notes in class, asking questions in class, going to the SLC Math Lab for additional help, uh, visiting your professor during office hours if you need to. Uh, these videos are just an additional tool, an additional resource we at the college are providing for you because we want you to be successful. Uh, I recommend taking this practice test, as I do all practice tests, at least three times. The first two times you do this practice test, use your textbook, use the notes you took in class, complete it in the SLC Math Lab. Maybe you can do it in a small group of friends from class. Uh, do whatever you need to do in order to be successful uh, on those first two t uh, attempts. And on the third attempt, you want to sit down somewhere quiet, uh, maybe you can reserve a quiet study room in your library uh, at campus. No matter which campus you're on, you can always do that. Uh, but sit down and time yourself. Don't use any additional resources. So no notes, no textbook, don't phone a friend, right? Um, you want to pretend it's the real deal. And if you can get through that practice test the third time without any difficulties, then you are in pretty good shape. Because remember, these practice tests have been designed to make sure you are prepared for the actual test. On that third attempt, however, if you are sitting down without the use of any study aids or anything and you're struggling, then you know you've got some work to do. And in particular, the problems that you're really struggling with are probably the ones you want to devote uh, some extra time to. So uh, please make sure you're using all of the help that we have at Palm Beach State to your advantage. We want you to be successful, as I said and we are, we're here for you, so all you have to do is ask. I will, as always, put my contact information in the video description below, as well as a link to a PDF copy of this practice test, just in case you don't have one. But without further ado, I'm not gonna ramble on anymore. Let's go ahead and get to it. All right, if you need anything, let me know. Otherwise, let's take a look at practice test question number one. I'll see you there. <music> 